guys, so welcome to my last Knitter's Guide to Crochet video. Um, this one is going to be about chaining, and I'm using some worsted weight yarn and a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to teach you how to chain and how to work in the chain, um, and this is one of the hardest things that I found to crochet, you know, as a knitter. It's very, very, very different than knitting. It's a different way of starting your work. It was pretty confusing to me. So as I said before, chaining is the last thing as a knitter I learned how to do in crochet just because it's really hard. At least I think it's very confusing. So when you start a crochet pattern, it's going to tell you to chain some stitches. You always start off with a slip knot, and as a knitter, you should already know how to do the slip knot. And then you chain just by wrapping the yarn around the hook and pulling it through. Wrapping, pulling, wrapping, pulling. And this is how you make a chain. And you're going to do this as many times as your pattern calls for. The slip knot does not count as a stitch. You know when you're knitting, the slip knot will count as a stitch on your, your um, knitting needles, but when you're chaining, the slip knot does not count as a stitch. So you're going to chain, and a difficulty that I had as a knitter is that it's hard to keep these uniform. Like I would, the tension would be wrong. I would make a big one, like there, like see, there's a big one and small ones. Or I would make really tight chains that I couldn't go back into because these are technically casting on stitches that are worked into. So what your pattern's going to do is ask you to, to chain and you just make a slip knot and then you do that many chains. So chaining's actually really easy. It's working into the chain that I had the most problems with. So these are your stitches and some patterns will have you work through just one loop and some patterns will have you work through two. See how there's two right here? and there's one underneath. So usually you skip the first chain, it's so close to your hook. And the second chain from the hook, you're going to do whatever stitch you, you go into. So you have to like turn it. So you should have one loop on the bottom and then two on the top. This is like the regular way they do it. So see how there's two right there? and then you would yarn over and work a stitch and I just did a single crochet and then in the next chain you would do the same thing go in however it just takes a while to be able to see the spaces where you're going to be making the stitches as you are working into the stitches the ones next to it are going to get a little bit bunched up. The you know other ones may get looser. So chaining really isn't something that you can just show a process for and do it. It's something that you kind of have to do a whole lot in order to see the spaces where you need to put your, your needle. So you can see here that I just made a single crochet in this stitch, and this is the bottom, and I did those two on top. So I would go under this stitch, so this would be the bottom, and these two would be on top. But at first it's extremely hard to see this, which is why I knit my starting chain for so long, just because I could eyeball it and see it so much easier. So yeah, this is like the basic beginnings of chaining and how to work into your stitch. You would just get to the end of the row and then turn it and work back unless you're working in the round. But honestly, this is something that I said before that I had the most trouble with and I just had to keep at it and keep at it and it literally took months to be able to see the stitches and work into the chain and get the correct number. Like I would chain 15 and somehow end up with like 17 stitches when I was done crocheting into it just because I would crochet into the wrong space because I wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. So thanks for watching and I hope you learned something from the six part guide. 
And next I think I'm going to make a beginner's guide to crochet, which will be from like the basics of never having knitted or crocheted before. I've had a lot of people ask about that. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye!